Hey guys. So today, I'm going to be continuing to oil and care for some of my leather um, clothing. We're going to be working on my oil skin hat today. Now I've already taken the liberty of cleaning it with some hot soapy water and a rag. Pretty easy to clean. You can follow that process with almost all leather. And I'm going to be using mink oil today, which is a versatile leather, leather conditioner and uh, it's fairly cheap too. You can purchase this for $15 at Walmart. So you want to take the dauber that comes with it to start. You want to get a copious amount on the sponge and you want to just start rubbing it in to your clean leather oilskin hat. And essentially what we're going to try to accomplish here is you can see this white film that's kind of left by the oil. You want to get that rubbed in as much as you can so that that is not as visible. If it looks moist or whatever, that, that's, that's fine. Um, if it just looks like there's something there, but you don't want it to be so thick you can still see it. And you just want to go and get all around the hat. Cover it as much as you can. And just work it in there. When you clean it, it helps to let it dry after you clean it for a little while. And as I said, you just want to be as thorough with this as you can. The more surface area you cover, the better. Work into the, into the seams as well. And doing this will ensure that this hat remains watertight and good for years to come. Leaving it can, might cause it to dry out, the leather to dry out and crack. And the moment leather cracks, it is no longer watertight. It might still be good if a small hairline cracks or whatever. You might still wear it, but it is no longer weather resistant as it might, want, as it might have been once upon a time. And if that's what you want out of your leather, which is what most folks do, then you gotta make sure to maintain your leather. Doing so will make the initial cost of buying it far more worth your time and you will likely enjoy doing this the more you do it. it it's satisfying. A certain sense of satisfaction for sure comes from doing this. Even more so when the next time you're out in, and the rain starts pouring down, you have this hat on your head and your hair stays completely dry. There's nothing quite like that sense of satisfaction knowing that because of the maintenance and hard work that you put into, uh, into your gear, your head is still nice and dry and you don't catch cold. Keep in mind that oiling leather, if it is dyed leather like this, will not restore the dye necessarily. It might make it look darker as you're doing it. I mean, as you can see, this looks a lot darker. But once this oil sets in, it will certainly make the leather supple, su more supple and will make it last longer, but it does not restore the dye. Now, the companies that make these, uh, this, the company that makes this hat is Outback. They're an Australian company. Many, uh, nine times out of 10, the company might have something um, uh, a conditioner or a product that you can put on the hat that will restore the dye. Outback does happen to make some for their oil skin product. It's a special, it's a special sort of oil. I don't know if it's mink or if it's a different kind of oil, but it's a special sort of oil that also incorporates the dye used to dye the leather originally and will help restore the color. It's just, you have to order this stuff online and I did not have time nor, nor funds to purchase any, so I just use mink. And truthfully, while I like the dye and I like the color of the hat, the patches on it where the color is worn out adds character to it. It speaks to the age and how much use this hat has seen. I have worn this hat um, out working in fields. I have worn it wandering around on the, on the town with my uh, girlfriend on some dates. I've worn this hat virtually for me everything. It's just a very versatile and nice hat. And I take a great pride in taking good care of it. 
I had this hat wrap here, custom made for this hat. A close friend of mine made this bead hat wrap and it just adds even more character to the hat. So anyways, now that you've worked, now once you've worked it in and it looks shiny, good and shiny and well worked in like this, you want to leave that to sit for a while, perhaps even add a coat of mink into it um, to leave an even nicer little glaze on it. And then you want to leave it for as long as you can, let it to sit, let that oil really work itself into there. And then when you have left it for however long you think it was necessary, you can uh, take a rag or some paper towel and you wipe away the excess and you're good to go. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Perhaps next time I will look into um, better maintaining other leather items, such as leather sheath, such as a leather sheath for your uh, work knife or something of the like. Um, bye.